Hi guys, this is Nand Kumar from MNK Tech Zone. Today we will discuss a topic about how to reset the Windows password without any tools or installation media. Basically, if you forget Windows machine's password, uh, we can directly recover by using any uh, third party tools. Otherwise, we can use installation media for recovering the password. But in this video, I am explaining you about without tools and installation media. Okay, so uh, it will help you uh, in a, uh, some situations you, you don't have any uh, utilities like Windows uh, third party tools or any installation media. That situation, uh, this video will help you. Okay, just follow my steps. Okay, this is my Windows 7 professional machine. Uh, I forgot this machine's password, so uh, now I am going to uh, demonstrate uh, this option in this machine only. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to enter into the uh, repairing uh, window, startup repair window in this machine. Uh, for entering to uh, repairing window, we need to reboot the machine. Actually, I am using this machine in this uh, virtual machine in VMware uh, software. Uh, so while rebooting, uh, we need to forcefully restart the machine. Then only we can able to enter into the launch startup repair option. Yes, uh, we got this and uh, choose this launch startup repair option <coughs> actually this is a uh, virtual operating system uh, that's why i used to reset command so uh, you can reset uh, your machine by directly uh, using a reset switch in, in your CPU box. Okay, so it will automatically continue in this startup repair window. Uh, we should never uh, disturb this option. Uh, we have to uh, wait for completing this startup repair. Okay, uh, yeah. See, uh, for once finished this startup repair option, uh, it will show the repair, startup repair uh, to restore the machine. We should never restore this option. So I am clicking the cancel win option. Now it's again continuing this uh, repairing procedures. I am skipping this video to directly to this end of this repair. Okay. Okay guys, uh, now uh, we got reached the uh, end of this startup repair. Uh, now it is showing, uh, startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically. Uh, seeding more information can help Microsoft create solutions. Uh, this option, uh, but uh, we should never choose this uh, ADE options in this both option. Okay, uh, we have to click this arrow mark, then go to the end of this uh, scroll. And uh, see, there is one txt file. Uh, we have to open this txt file. Okay. Now, uh, don't need uh, any editing in this file. Uh, just uh, choose the file and uh, save op save as option. See now, uh, we got uh, access from uh, access of this uh, my computer. Uh, here you can see uh, whatever the drives are available in this machine. Uh, in this drives. Uh, you have to find uh, which one is your actual C drive of this machine. So maximum uh, this will be our C drive. So yeah, just go to the system 32 of this machine. Windows system 32. Okay, here uh, you can see uh, each and every executable files. Uh, here only a folders are showing. So I'm going to change this save as type and make it as a yeah, all files okay now you can see uh, each and every executable files in this folder okay uh, so uh, we have to find uh, where the setsc.exe file is there okay i'm typing the setsc yeah 
this file is nothing uh, this is a sticky key detection file uh, whenever we are uh, typing a shift key five more than five times uh, this file uh, this exe file will execute and uh, it will pop up the one image uh, that means uh, some control alt delete uh, like it will show okay uh, so now i am going to uh, rename this set as c file okay press the f2 key for renaming this files and uh, just give a reference number yes got it and uh, one more things also we have to do uh, we have to find the cmd.exe file okay and uh, rename uh, sorry we we can copy this cmd file and paste it here yes got it and uh, we have to rename this file as a set hc okay so uh, why i am editing this as a set hc uh, because whenever uh, we are uh, typing this shift key more than five times this set hc file will execute uh, before uh, editing this option uh, normally our set hc.exe will execute but right now uh, this cmd file only will execute because uh, its name is set hc.exe whenever our windows kernel detect a shift key detection uh, it will run this set hc.exe but uh, after this modulation our command prompt will execute okay so our modulation has been successfully completed now we have to reboot our machine into our normal operating system okay okay here uh, login window showing so now you have to type the shift key more than five times okay one two three four yes uh, this is my base operating system sticky key deduction okay this is my virtual machines uh, sticky key deduction okay uh, so uh, this this is the command prompt uh, we can uh, accessing as a with admin rights so okay, by using this command prompt we can do anything okay so uh, from this command prompt we can uh, reset our machine's password uh, in two ways uh, one is uh, net user command uh, if you are a system engineer uh, and familiar with the troubleshooting knowledge uh, you can use the net user command uh, otherwise uh, we can use the controls command okay uh, first of all i am uh, opening the control command so it will be a uh, best option for uh, basic users and uh, normal users also can obtain this uh, things okay just to type this command control user passwords 2 enter now you can see the user password management window see there is a only one user my machine having only administrator user so uh, by this reset password option you can reset it so i'm setting the password password at 321 enter okay now uh, we have uh, updated our administrator's password so now press ok and egg the command prompt now type the new password yes okay we have successfully uh, resetted our machine's password okay okay guys uh, one more thing you have to remember uh, if your machine uh, not require any sticky keys deduction uh, you can skip this option otherwise uh, you need to uh, replace that uh, set hc files as usual okay uh, so i am explaining you uh, how to reset it go to the windows and system 32 
directory okay uh, this is the command file but uh, its name is setHC okay so uh, after successful password reset one more time you have to enter into the startup repair option and uh, uh, as you as like previous uh, in this video previously uh, i show you how to enter into that uh, notepad file so uh, as, as the same way you have to enter into the notepad file and open the computer and uh, this system32 folder and you have to delete this setHC.exe this file and you have to rename this setHC1 as a setHC okay uh, once you uh, completed that option you can uh, get your old system as usual okay okay guys uh, thank you for watching my video uh, if you like these kinds of videos uh, please subscribe my channel